Hey there, this is Kevin from MaximizingEcommerce.com. I help people build e-commerce businesses they can be proud of. And recently I had someone, fairly recently, um, this video is probably a little overdue, but someone had asked me the question of what is the difference between Jungle Scout and Unicorn Smasher? So they're two different tools that can help you determine how much a product sells on Amazon. So I basically got two windows open um, and we're just going to compare. I've actually never checked the two. Uh, Jungle Scout is something I've been using since I was in product research phase for my first product two and a half years ago. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see uh, basically because Jungle Scout's and something you have to pay for. Um, and it's the name everyone knows, but Unicorn Smasher is one that's free. So uh, what the results look like, I have no idea. So let's just compare the two. Um, in fact, also, if you have ideas before I get into this, if you have any ideas for uh, videos, please feel free to let me know. Um, you can either shoot me an email. If you go to the about page, you can find the email um, address for the channel as well as you can always leave a comment um, on this video or any video and just make a suggestion I can't promise that I'll make a video for everything but I definitely will read your um, suggestion and will do my best to answer your question and possibly it could end up being a future video so um, let's go ahead and use the example of French press coffee maker so I'm going to use the same keyword here in both so that way I get the same results. I'm going to try to make this as apples to apples as possible. Now we might see slightly different things just because Amazon's constantly tweaking or the algorithm is constantly tweaking what it shows but um, you can see it looks like pretty much the same ones are in the same order. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's go ahead on this window. We'll do Jungle Scout. And on this window, we'll do use this tracking data to show you the most profitable products. Use Google Analytics to improve. Promise not to share this data with anyone else. But if you know, thanks. Unicorn Smasher uses tracking data to show you the most profitable products for your Amazon business. Uh, I don't need that. All right, so it's doing its thing. All right, now it looks like it's fully loaded, so we'll play around here for a second. So. Um, looking at Unicorn Smasher, one thing I do like here is that it's got, you hover over, it's got the, the product. So that way you kind of know which one you're looking at because otherwise you have to, you know, figure out like, okay, bit elegant French press coffee maker and then go into here and then try to scroll until you find that particular one. So I, I, I do like that particular feature, uh, makes it easier when you're comparing and contrasting. Um, you can definitely see how many reviews that these have. Um, so looking at this, looks like Jungle Scout needs more real estate here on the screen. So I'm going to make this smaller. No offense to anyone that likes Unicorn Smasher. I just want to be able to compare the two. Um, so French Press Coffee Maker and Tea. It's interesting that they're showing different, I don't know if it's the display name's different because the crazy thing is, as we saw, it's the exact same products. So I'm not sure why they're showing different names. And I do like, oh, there you can see the hover over. So, but the brand, so like this Sakura, which is all the way down here, is number two. So I don't know, maybe, I think I have a hunch. So let's see, it said French Press Coffee Maker and Sakura. So Kitchen Supreme is the brand. So if we're looking at this, it 
Yes. Okay, that's what it's doing. Uh, looks like Jungle Scout is skipping over the sponsored and just going to the organic, where it looks like Unicorn Smasher is giving you information on the sponsored. So that that makes a little more sense there. Um, and then as far as like the numbers go, let's take a look at the numbers. So uh, one thing to keep in mind is you know, when they give sales, they're all guessing. But let's see if we can figure out an apples to apples comparison of the two. So, for example, large French press. Oh, no, that was going to be one of the uh, the ones that was not on here. So we'll say French press coffee maker by Kitchen Supreme which is this one. So 29.97, they both have the same price. They both are showing 487 as the sales rank. Um, oh, wow, this is a pretty big difference. So uh, Jungle Scout saying that that's about 3,600 units. That's per month. So um, what would that be? 30, so that's, they're saying over 100 units per day. Um, and over here, they're saying 2,000 units. In fact, you can see, like for Sakura here, they're saying 6,700. And this is saying 2,700. So why such a big difference? I don't know. Which one's more accurate? I don't know. If you've got experience comparing the two, because I literally just installed Unicorn Smasher just to check it out. Um, I would love to hear your comments down below. If you're from either... Um, company and you want to give an explanation of maybe why your tool is more accurate than the other i i'm all ears um but yeah you can definitely see that there's a huge difference here along the way so i'm not sure how what the methodology is that they're using that gets to that um let's see maybe they're taking rank history more into play i i have no idea that's that's a good point um if anything i mean i would caution anyone to say either tool is giving you the gospel because no one knows except amazon and amazon doesn't really release those numbers so basically just what the tools are doing they're probably using different methodology to get to the same type of results so when they're saying like over here this particular one is doing 1600 units in a month they're basing it off of what they've seen something at this particular um, sales rank for the kitchen and dining category is going to do that many sales in a month which is about what 50 a day that makes sense um, now over here they're saying that it's going to be for Similar. Let's see if I can find one that's ranked that. Oh, here, same one. They're saying that's 814, so half the number of units per day. Why the difference? I don't know. I would be very curious to find out. Um, but basically, what these systems do is they they take a variety of factors to figure out how much something sells. I think sometimes they monitor products and try to figure out how much inventory it has. Um, but either way, what I would do is if, if you're thinking about doing product research, personally, I use jungle scout and I like it. Unicorn smasher may be a pretty good tool because either way, like I was saying before, they're all shooting in the dark. So it's not like either one has a magical, um, knowledge of which one is correct, but I would, I would definitely, um, if I were you, you know, get one of these tools. I mean, you can always start with Unicorn Smasher, and if you wanted to pay for Jungle Scout later, you could do that. Uh, but more than anything, I would, you know, use it to at least get a guide. So you can see how something is selling. Because the, the nice thing about either tool is, regardless of even if you're not taking, it is some sort of like gospel of, you know, how many units it's selling. You can see what it's 
selling compared to other products. And that's going to give you a pretty good clue. So you could see like, you know, at a glance, like, oh, these are all the different, you know, brands that are selling, you know, whether it's FBA sellers or Amazon themselves. So if there's a few Amazon sellers on here, that's not a big deal. It's when like the whole page is Amazon, that'd be harder to compete with. Or if you just see a bunch of name brands, but th these are mostly private label sellers. I mean, they're probably pretty successful because they're selling, you know, pretty decent numbers of units uh, per month. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, these are both probably reputable. Well, I wouldn't say probably reputable. I, I, I've heard good things about both Unicorn Smasher and Jungle Scout. So um, I, again, I'd love to hear your comments down below. Hopefully you found this helpful. I'm kind of finding this pretty enlightening as I'm going. So if, if I'm having trouble uh, stating what I'm thinking, it, part of it is because I'm just, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a difference um, in the number of units that it's saying it's selling. So uh, again, I'd love to hear your, your thoughts, comments down below. And uh, um, thank you for having, uh, for having made it all the way through to the end. Sorry, it's getting a little late for me here. So uh, I wish you the best and uh, have a great day. Take care.